I began to investigate and I found four things that I couldn't refute. First of all, and they all begin with the letter E, the execution of Jesus. Every scholar virtually in the world can see Jesus was dead after being crucified. Uh, even the Journal of the American Medical Association, a secular, scientific, peer-reviewed medical journal, carried an investigation into his death and said, clearly, the weight of the historical and medical evidence indicates Jesus was dead even before the wound to his side was inflicted. So first, Jesus was dead. Second, the early accounts we've got. I thought the resurrection was a legend, and I knew it took a long time for legend to develop. So I thought, thought 100, 200 years after the life of Jesus, legends were invented about the resurrection. No, I found out we have a report of the resurrection of Jesus that includes the names of eyewitnesses and groups of eyewitnesses that has been preserved for us by the Apostle Paul. It has been dated back by scholars to within months of the death of Jesus. You can find it in 1 Corinthians 15, starting at verse 3. That creed of the earliest church, that report of the resurrection, has been dated back to within months of the death of Jesus. That's far too quick to write it off as a legend. Third, the empty tomb. And I found that even the enemies of Jesus implicitly admitted <laughs> the tomb was empty. Everybody admitted the tomb was empty. And then fourth, eyewitnesses. You know, most of what we know about the ancient world, when we look at a fact we believe about the ancient world, it's based on one source or maybe two sources of information. But for the conviction of the disciples that they encountered the resurrected Jesus, we have no fewer than nine ancient sources inside and outside the New Testament that confirm and corroborate the conviction of the disciples that they encountered the risen Jesus. That is an avalanche of historical data. And so I, I got to the point on November the 8th of 1981 where I said, you know what? A good juror reaches a verdict. The evidence is in. I, I got to reach a verdict. And so I gathered all the evidence I collected, books and documents and all this stuff, and I kind of reviewed it all one last time. And I, I sat back. I said, wait a second. In light of this avalanche of evidence that points so powerfully toward the truth of Christianity, I realized it would take more faith to maintain my atheism mm. than to become a Christian. Wow. The scales went like that. <laughs> wow. And that's when I reached my verdict that Jesus not only claimed to be the son of God, he backed up that claim by returning from the dead.